I'm Stanley, and welcome to Baking with Stanley. To our first episode, we're going to be making Canadian pancakes. Now, don't worry if you don't hear all the ingredients I will just list out, because there'll be a link below with all the ingredients that you'll need. So, first we've got, we're going to need one cup of this flour. We need a tablespoon of this baking powder. We have three egg yolks, a cup of milk, and three egg whites. Uh, just remember, as we're going along with this, it's very unprofessional. There might be edits, so there might be errors. Just keep with it. All right, let's get into it. So, first we're gonna take one cup of flour. And we're gonna put that into there. And we're gonna take a tablespoon of our baking powder. together using a spoon. All together. As I said, it's very unprofessional, so don't worry. This now, we'll just do a bit more of this. Just put a little bit Now you can pause the video if you'd like to. Um, I'm sure you have that all in line. I'm ready now. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to pour this in to our flour. Don't worry if it's not all combined because we can combine that all in a second. I'm just going to take our whisk and mix this all together. Looking good, looking good. Make sure you get all the flour. You don't want to have a bit of flour in your pancakes. It's definitely not good. Keep going, keep going until you get it perfect and all the flour is at the bottom. You want it to look sort of bubbly and you want it to just droop off your spat whisk. Now at this point, we're gonna take our electric beaters. Now don't worry if you don't have one of these, because you can also use a whisk. It's just gonna take a bit longer. We'll pop these in. unfortunate but what I did is these egg whites were nice and fluffy after I'd done them and we took a third of them and we did a special mixing thing called folding it in so to get all the air bubbles in and then we took the rest of the egg whites the two thirds that remained and then we folded it so you don't want to have lumps of egg whites are fine just not lumps of flour and then we took a bit of flour a bit of butter and put that in there so just heat the pan up a bit and get it a bit oily. So we're gonna take a 
quarter cup, and we're gonna take a big scoop. Big scoop. Very big scoop. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And we're going to put four of these in. And we're going to cook them for roughly um, how long on each side? Until you can see the bubbles coming up. Until you can see bubbles coming up on each side. So make sure they don't touch. It's going to be a bad news. Okay. Cut them here. So you can see some bubbles starting to appear. So that means they're ready to flip. So I'm just going to take a little bit there. Okay. There. Mm -hmm. We can cook them after. Okay. Um, so let's just wait again. Make sure you just a watch pan never never does it. Pardon? Fluffing up nicely. Yep. Fluffing up nicely. See all that brown, and you can see all those bubbles. That means they're pretty nice and airy. Remember, I said at the start of the video, very unprofessional. So just bear with us. We had that unfortunate cut over there. So just stay with us. Yeah. So we can put those again. These two are ready to put on our plate. Plate over here, make sure you have your plate ready. These two we can use for a couple more minutes. Thank you for watching. Let's tuck in now. Next time on Stanley Bakes, um, let me think, Victoria Sponge. And if you didn't get that whole video, don't worry. Along with the ingredients, I'll list the method because, you know, it's pretty dodgy.